Religion causes trouble. Have you ever thought that? Or have you ever heard someone else say that? Is that a reason to object to the message of Jesus? Well, here's how I would respond. First of all, there have been things in our past that we have done that have caused trouble. As Christians, as the church, we have got it wrong. And we've got it wrong at particular times when we've drifted away from the message of Jesus. The message of Jesus is that we turn the other cheek, that we rather be hurt than hurt others, that we love even our enemies. Paul in the Bible said, if it is possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. But religion hasn't caused as much trouble as is sometimes thought. The greatest trouble we might think of is war. And research into the causes of war indicate that religious wars account for something between 7 and 11% of all wars. Even though religions have caused some wars, the greatest proportion of wars are caused by states collapsing or by leaders and states trying to assert themselves as, the, as being the greatest. The history of the Christian faith generally paints a very different picture. You see in history the message of Jesus being lived out in, in care for the poor and needy. You see human rights established and dignity and worth for all people. Key to all of this is the message of the Christian faith. God is not a God of war and yet as humans we have declared war on him by trying to take over his right place of rule. Rather than just responding with immediate retaliation, God has sought to establish peace. He sent his son, Jesus, to destroy evil, the evil which moved us to declare war against him in the first place. He did this through his death, which also brings about our forgiveness for our rebellion if we trust in him. And in trusting in Jesus, we find peace with God we become part of his kingdom. What's more, in Jesus and through his people, God is bringing his kingdom of peace across the world, breaking down national barriers where previously people were enemies. So religion has caused some trouble, though perhaps not as much as we may have thought. But the message of Jesus brings us peace with God and peace with each other.